read a lot, read, read, read. Go, you know, pick somebody who's you're drawn to and read all their work, read in that way, you know, read in an attentive way rather than, and don't read for the fashion or what you think you should be doing. Oh, I need to read this because this is what's hot. This is what's uh, the, the going thing. You know, stick to your, um, your kind of uh, ethics around that. It's not about copying somebody you think is, but if you're moved by it and it, it speaks to a way you can learn and grow as I felt with some of my elders. But it's, um, the, and the discipline of course, that every day you, you're giving some time, whether, you, whether you're actually writing or reading or studying or taking notes or reading something aloud or talking about it, just that there's a, a, a you know, a, a command or demand for, for your attention to poetry and that you're respectful of the, the whole, you know, sense of what that is. We, a lot of people have made sacrifices, a lot of people have died uh, to, to keep doing their work. A lot of people have been locked in, you know, in prison for, uh, there's so many issues around freedom of speech and freedom of expression. Just keep the big picture in mind that, and you're doing a, it's a sacred act, have some value for it. It's not, it can be beautifully uh, witty and entertaining, and, but it's a serious commitment. And then seek out the people you're, you're interested in, question, ask questions, be curious, and try to write, I mean, devote some time of every day, and uh, also know you have to survive, you have to make a living, you have to take care of others, you have to um, tithe your time, I think, to contribute to the world, but what you, can, you can figure it out. And also realize it's been going on for <laughs> lots of years since, I don't think there's any time in, in recorded history without poetry. So you're in a good, you know, it's a good realm, a good zone.